This video will show how in Apex to save to your card as well as unload any data from your card. Once we get to the home screen, to save to our card, we click Save on the top menu. And on the left hand side, we have to choose which screen we're using as well as the drive of our removable disk. I'm saving in this instance for a GS2 2600, so I put a check mark there. I then have to select my drop down and I choose which drive is my removable disk. When you do put your removable disk into Windows, it does create a drive that does pop up and just take note of the drive letter associated with that. In this case, it's letter I. I select that and I can choose what I want to save. I can choose everything underneath my all my products and resources and tasks or I can choose if I only want certain flags or certain farms. If I don't want this farm saved, I just deselect it and this will only save my current home farm, maple farm equipment, client, and then everything else under this. If I have my latest display version, I can save here, or I can choose to save the previous display version. This warning comes up, meaning that some of the features may not be compatible, and to update. So I want to choose save to the latest. All I do then is hit save to card, and it starts. gives me a result there that is it is succeeded. If I need to unload from my card, all I do is again at my top menu click unload and the same thing follows. I choose which drive, pardon me, which screen I would like, which is a GS2 2600 and my card path. It does default to this because I used it previously. I then select all my files or only certain files and on the right hand side it will give me time estimated remaining as well as uh, my unload button. So all I do here is click unload and it shows that these two files have been unloaded and I'm done.